Welcome to ANSYS Artistry. Thank you for joining me for another pore painting video. For today's painting, I have another wood round, uh, 12 inches in diameter. And this time, I'm going to be trying a wave, a blue wave on a white background. So that is the aim for today's painting. But before we start today's painting, I wanna show you how the fire painting dried. Here it is. There is no varnish or resin top coat yet, but the white, the zinc white that I added makes it glow. It's a great addition to your paintings. Look how this one dried, beautiful, right? Really looks like there's fire in there. <laughs> well, we're done with fire. Let's start with the way. Um, so I got different shades of blues that I have, few of them deeper blues and few of them lighter shades of blue. Um, of course, I'm going to be adding zinc white to it in between. Um, the base is a mixture of Artist Loft soft body acrylic white and Blick Relics titanium white. All the paints have been mixed with Floetrol and water and all of them have similar consistency. When I mix Floetrol, I use the ratio one part paint to two part Floetrol and a little bit of water. I adjust the amount of water to make all the paints have similar consistency. So now let's start with the painting. I've already checked if this uh, wood round is level and you can see, yes, it is. Um, I'm going to put down the white base, spread it around and then let's start layering the blues. Okay, now let's pop the air bubbles. Okay, now let's start layering the paints. Uh, I want my wave to crest on this direction. So let's start somewhere here and then start making our designs. So I'm starting with Thalo Cyanine Blue by Liquitex. Okay, somewhat like that. Let's add a little bit more. Next, I have Cerulean Blue. Cobalt Blue. Brilliant Blue. Next, I have Prussian Blue. Light Blue Permanent. Then I have Ultramarine Blue. I need a little bit of the darker blue here. And then last color is turquoise. And now topping it off with zinc white.
Okay, now that the layering is done, let's pop these air bubbles before we start blowing it out. Okay, on to the hair dryer. Okay, I've got the basic design. Now let me fix these um, edges. Just need a little bit more darker on the bottom so I'm adding the Prussian blue a little bit. And this is ultramarine. Uh, thalo blue or thalo cyanine blue. And what's the other color? Cobalt blue. One more time, I'm just gonna use my mouth to blow it up.
I'm not seeing much contrast here, so I might do the same thing that I did here over up, over in that place as well. Let's see. I'm not too sure if you'll be able to see this when I'm blowing it out. <laughs> nice crested wave here i don't want to touch anything i'll bring you down for a close-up so you can see these details so here's the close-up of the wave look how perfect it looks i love this painting you can never go wrong with the blues i tell you look how perfectly this colors have blended the dark and the light i did lose the zinc white in there somewhere but I'm thinking the dark blue and the light blues are gonna give nice contrast doesn't it look like the water is flowing yeah perfect I did have to mess around a little bit to get the shape of this crest like the way I wanted I'm happy how this one turned out yeah nice beautiful wave here i love it well if you did love this video please do hit that thumbs up button and show me your support also please consider subscribing to my art channel well that's it for today and i hope to see you all in my next video until then take care bye happy pouring